Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video I'm going to start a new project in Revit and I'm going to talk about Topo Solid, Project Base Point and Survey Base Point. In Revit I'm going to open a new model, I'll go with default metric and I'm going to start working on the site plan. Uh, because my site plan dimensions are in meters, at this stage I'll go with UN. I'm going to change the units to meters, three decimal places. When I get to drawing walls and so on, I might change it back to millimeters. First, I'm going to import a CAD file that I have for property lines. I'm going to go with current view only and I'll go with manual origin. I'll set it somewhere around here. Then I'm going to move it from this edge to uh, the center of my project base point and I can pin this at the moment. Uh, why? Because I want the bottom left side of my uh, building to be uh, lined with my project base point. So uh, next thing I want to do is that I'm going to draw property lines which is under massing and side property line by sketching, pick lines, hit tab once. There you go. That's my property line. Uh, next, I would like to follow uh, these dimensions here and you see that finished floor is 193.81 so how about I start with that which means I want to go with I'll hit tab here with my project base point and I want to assign 193.8 point 193.81 which is my finished floor elevation based on the sea level so I'm gonna click on uh, elevation 193.81 uh, I'm gonna hit tab here select the survey base point and go with the same thing for elevation 193.81 okay now if I go let's say to my south elevation I'm gonna put the two views side by side here and now you see that uh, this level is actually much lower than where it should be so first uh, make sure that it's set to do not crop then I want to select these two level and I want to move them up by 193.81 so and I, this is the crop region I can move it up the good thing is now my level 1 is at uh, 0 and you can always go to edit type and change this to survey point so you see absolute elevations versus project elevations and next I want to draw my topo solid uh, massing and soil topo solid create form sketch and I want to pick these lines I'll hit tab and I can select all at once so this is my topo solid uh, you can see it here too uh, if I want the topo solid, I just want it to be a little bit thicker. I'll go with edit type, duplicate, and I'm going to say, for instance, go with 2200 millimeter under edit. If I hit preview where it says air, so I want to go with two meters. So the total adds up to 2.2. Okay, and okay. Then I want to select the topo solid and I'm going to go with uh, modify sub elements I can uh, select each of these points on the site plan see that it's telling me uh, the elevation based on survey point if it's based on project point now it's going to be zero so I'm going to change this to be based on survey point and based on my image here I know that this edge is 192.85 192.85 8.5 this other edge again this is on survey point that is 192.21 192.21 this other edge on the bottom right is 192.96 click on it based on survey point 192.96 192.95 and finally that one over there is 
192.83 there we go uh, okay now if you want to double check in site plan we can always go with getting some spot elevations see that uh, the spot elevation uh, is on is set to project I can go with edit type duplicate and set this to survey and here I can say use survey point and okay, now this is the exact values that we see. on the uh, site plan drawing, so I can get all this. And uh, based on this, I can also get it here. It's 193.81. Okay. Uh, feel free to maybe select these two levels and I want to go with right click and I want to go with maximize 3D extent. I can move this edge a little bit further. And again, if you go to your levels and change this to survey point, you can see the uh, absolute values based on the C level. Uh, one other thing I want to show you here, maybe here in South Elevation, if I go to visibility graph graphics, VG, I can go to my site plan and I can check the box for project base point survey point so I can see them here too if you need. Uh, and let's say maybe you have more uh, points to add which are kind of within the site plan then in that case you need to import the uh, JPG here. So I'm going to go to my site plan. I can go with insert import image I'll put it somewhere. How about I put this on wireframe for a second? I want to move the JPG in a way that the this edge matches. So I'll go with here. I'm going to grab this edge and match it to, to the edge of the property here. And then I need to um, scale this graphically. So from here to this area of the on the image is gonna I'm gonna zoom out so it's gonna match it with the edge here. You can pin this image so it's not gonna move anymore. And uh, now I can uh, see if I can change this or send this all the way backwards. Now it's a little bit better. And I want to draw a window here, filter so I can select my uh, topo solid and I want to add some points and again see that I'm going to add the points based on the survey level here I have 192.95 so I'm going to type 192.95 and I'm going to click here I have one point here which is 193.35 based on survey point 193.35 one more click here and one more here I can go with 193.25 193.25 and one more click is going to be around here hit escape now if I look at it in 3d it's going to look like this and in my site plan feel free to hide in view element uh, one last thing here is in Revit 2024 and 5, there is no building path. So what we do is that we'll create a mass, massing and site in place mass. I'm going to name this duplex building. And I'm going to go with uh, pick the lines. See that make sure instead of drawn face, this is on drawn work plane. Uh, so it's going to draw it on level 1 work plane, otherwise it's going to go with the sloped part of the topo solid. So I'm picking the lines, I'm going to see here if hitting tab, yes, I can hit tab, select this chain of lines, and I'm going to go with create a solid form, finish the mass. If I look at it here, uh, you know, maybe I'll have a couple more levels, I'll go with LL, I'm going to have one level one and a half meters lower 
and I'm gonna name this underside uh, footing. I don't have any basement in this project. And I notice in Revit 2025, uh, sometimes in this version 0.2 that I have, it doesn't add the levels automatically to the plan. Just go to view, plan views, and add your level over there. I'm going to add one more level. I should check the dimensions for the levels later, but I'll, for now I'll just offset it another 3 meter, and it's going to be top of the roof plate. I can move this mass here and here, and I can lock it to those levels. Now this is the part uh, that I would like to mention. Uh, in order to, to be cut in topo solid, I can go with modify, cut, select topo solid, select mass. If I type HH, you see that now it's cutting uh, the ground. If I go to south level, uh, now you see that it's cutting all the way to underside footing and it all looks good. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.